from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Happy fall. How do we ring it in? Well, by hitting 94 in Lafayette this afternoon, and most of us easily push uh, the lower to middle 90s. And in case you're curious where we should be for the time of year, about 88 degrees, uh, but we're going to continue to run well above that as we round out the weekend tomorrow. Some rain chances, but they should peak as we head into Monday. So here we go with the check of temperatures at the top of the hour, and uh, we have cooled off, obviously, since the sun has gone down upper 70s to lower 80s uh, here across Across the Cadiana, it's 82 in, the, in here in the Hub City, 79 New Iberia, Opelousas. You're coming in at 81 degrees, and satellite radar composite uh, showing relatively quiet conditions. Light subtly winds continue to come in. Did see a a couple very isolated showers through the course of this afternoon, uh, but as expected, rain chance is not much better than around 10 to 20%. Now, we do have a little bit of an upper level disturbance here uh, across uh, portions of Oklahoma, Arkansas. We'll be watching that throughout the day tomorrow. Some of that energy could make it all the way south to Acadiana to give us some rain chances tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Models haven't been helping us a whole lot, uh, but still we're going to keep it at around 20 to 30%. We'll show you that in just a second. Power Doppler 3 pretty quiet and that's the way it's going to go overnight tonight. Mild temperatures dropping a few more degrees. Most of us in the mid 70s by tomorrow morning, partly cloudy through the morning and then we'll call it mostly cloudy into our Sunday afternoon. Here comes that disturbance. Uh, notice uh, the graph model not as optimistic as the her model I showed you in 24 hour uh, forecast, uh, but still the possibility of a few showers and storms tomorrow afternoon into the early evening hours again at around 30%. Temperatures stay quite hot mid 90s into the afternoon uh, and then here we go into Monday looking to start out in the mid 70s and then a little bit more unsettled as we head into our Monday afternoon rain chances up to around 50 to 60 uh, percent high temperatures should still be able to climb into the lower 90s. Tropics still somewhat busy, but look at this. Gulf of Mexico quiet should stay that way through the rest of this month. And hopefully it just stays quiet uh, uh, into October and the rest of the hurricane season. Of course, we wouldn't complain about that. Uh, we do have a new tropical storm that formed earlier today, Philippe. Uh, but good news with this one is pretty much just going to remain out in the open waters. Ophelia made landfall in North Carolina. Uh, very early this morning. That's still bringing tropical uh, storm conditions to portions of the mid-Atlantic. Uh, but here's the latest on uh, Philippe. Winds at 40 miles per hour moving to the west pretty quickly at 14 and uh, should stay a tropical storm throughout its life cycle, maybe getting close to hurricane status uh, as we head into the latter parts of the upcoming week. But notice remaining out in the open waters of the Atlantic. So obviously no threat to the Gulf of Mexico. Temperatures tonight, uh, those overnight lows will say lower 70s for northern Acadiana, but mid 70s along the I-10 corridor and should see similar numbers across the coastal regions. After that mild start, it's going to be hot tomorrow afternoon, muggy as well, low to mid 90s under partly to mostly cloudy skies. 74, the projected low tonight, at least here in the hub city. It's going to be a quiet night ahead, light winds in place. And then as we round out the weekend tomorrow, partly cloudy through the morning, very good mixture of clouds and sunshine into the afternoon, technically in fall, but more of a summer like pattern out there with the hot and humid conditions. 94 will be the projected high. And again, we'll watch for a few of those showers and storms for the second half of the day as that upper level disturbance tries to push through. Rain chances will say 30%, 50 to 60% in the Monday afternoon. 92, the projected high could stay somewhat unsettled for the middle parts of the week. Uh, just kind of depends where the shower sets up. Some of the models say offshore, others a little bit further inland, so we'll kind of split the difference and go 30% for the middle parts of the upcoming week. But overall, temperatures remaining slightly above normal. Overnight lows eventually trending uh, toward the upper 60s and lower 70s. Well, that's a look at weather for now, but stay with us. We're going to have more news and eventually sports coming up later on in the show.